Hey, uh, take us through more here with the Dylan Cease and the job that he did today. Uh, he was pretty darn good. And this just might be what the Chicago White, not, White Sox needed. Look, Lance Lynn's on the shelf a little bit. Giolito's not necessarily been that ace of ace. And I think Dylan Cease, with his actions out there today, might be that rallying cry for the White Sox where he says, you know what? I could be the man right here. Tom mentioned Trout had a rough day with four punchies. Well, three of them were Dylan Cease out of his. And I want to take a look at what he was able to do. From the get-go, he throws a 3-2 hook, gets Trout. So just enjoy this. To change up the slider, the high heater, he had everything working today. But three at-bats I really want to look at were all Mike Trout at-bats. And we're going to go through and watch these things. His first A-B. This is Mike Trout, people. I got a four-seam heater for you, strike one. I got a four-seam heater for you, strike two, he fouls it off. And guess what? I got a four-seam heater for you, see you later in three pitches. Now the next at bat, as you see Trout walking off going, what happened? Breaking ball, strike one. Remember the three fastballs before. Breaking ball, strike two. He gets away with this one right here because Trout could hit this 0-2 pitch about 900 miles, but he fouls it off. That's right down the middle. So this pitch right here, keep that frozen for me. That's the only non-competitive pitch I saw him throw to Mike Trout. And I think the reason for that, it was an 0-2 count. He hung a slider right before that that Trout should have hit at 450 miles. This one right here, either C says, I am going to break this off so badly that he can hit it, or I don't even want to throw a close stone play because I'll regroup myself mentally as this thing goes. But that's very non-competitive. Throw it back, and now you watch this. So now he's one ball, two strikes. Rushes him. Keep that frozen for a minute, please, Dave. He backs up a little bit, and he says, okay, first time up, heater, heater, heater. Next time up, four breaking balls. He just changed my eyesight, right? So this would be a perfect time, in my opinion, with that man on second, First base is open. You're sitting there, and that's Mike Trout. This could be a tie game. I'm thinking he's thinking, here comes something of the breaking variety. Play it forward for me and watch this. It goes to 2-2. He rushed him high again. Did you see Trout? Keep this frozen for me. Trout's now looking out at him going, okay, dude, what are you going to do? 3-2. I got a base open. You will break one off on me, 3-2. I know this. Play it forward. Watch what happens here. No, he just rushed him with 98, his best heater, and Trout walks off going, man, what just happened? Third time up. That's a good challenge fastball again. Next pitch, he comes in, the fastball again, and then he introduces the 77-mile-an-hour changeup. As Mike Trout walks off the field, he was saying to himself, I'm Mike Trout. But that might be Dylan Cease. <laughs> and I tell you what, I saw this kid after his junior year in Chicago in that All-America game years ago. He threw the first inning for my squad. And a 17-year-old kid in Wrigley walking off the field, exactly what he was doing today. I think he belongs here. He, think, he knows he belongs here. He knows he's good here. And I think he wants to be the man in Chicago. And today's performance, especially facing Mike Trout, says, okay, you might be the man here.